Thomas's train. Thomas the tank engine often grumbled to the other engines. I spend all my time pulling coaches about, ready for you to take out on journeys. He said one day. The other engines laughed. Why can't I pull passenger trains too? He asked. You're too impatient, they said. You be sure to leave something behind. Rubbish, said Thomas. I'll show you. One night, he and Henry were alone in the shed. Henry was ill. The men worked hard, but he didn't get better. Henry felt just as bad next morning. He usually pulled the first train, and Thomas had to get Henry's coaches ready. If Henry is ill, Thomas thought, perhaps I shall pull his train. Thomas ran off to find the coaches. Come along, come along, he fussed. There's plenty of time. There's plenty of time. Grumbled the coaches. Thomas took them to the platform and wanted to run round in front at once. But his driver wouldn't let him. Don't be impatient, Thomas. He said. So Thomas waited and waited. The people got in. The garden station master walked up and down. The porters banged the doors, and still Henry didn't come. Thomas got more and more excited. The fat controller came out of his office to see what was the matter, and the guard and the station master told him about Henry. Find another engine, he ordered. There's only Thomas, they said. You'll have to do it then, Thomas said the fat controller. Be quick now. So Thomas ran round to the front and back down on the coaches, ready to start. Don't be impatient," said his driver. "Wait till everything is ready." But Thomas was too excited to listen. What happened then? No one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Perhaps Thomas was too impatient to wait till they were ready, or perhaps the driver pulled the lever by mistake. Whatever it was, Thomas started. As he passed the first signal box, the men waved and shouted, but he didn't stop. They're waving because I'm such a splendid engine. He thought importantly. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Hurry, hurry, hurry! He puffed, pretending to be like Gordon. People have never seen me pulling a train before. He thought. It's nice of them to wave. Thomas whistled, "Peep, peep, thank you," and hurried on. Then he came to a signal set at danger. Bother! He thought, "I must stop." And I was going so nicely too. What a nuisance signals are! He blew an angry peep, peep on his whistle. The signalman ran up. "Hello, Thomas," he said. "What are you doing here?" I'm pulling a train," said Thomas. "Can't you see? Where are your coaches then?" asked the signalman. Thomas looked back. "Why, bless me," he said. "If we haven't left them behind." "Yes," said the signalman. "You better go back quickly and fetch them." Poor Thomas was so sad he nearly cried. "Cheer up, Thomas," said his driver kindly. "Let's go back quickly and try again." At the station, all the passengers were talking at once. They were telling the fat controller, the station master, and the guard what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas came back, they saw how sad he looked, and they couldn't be cross. He was coupled to the train, and this time he really pulled it. But for a long time afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said. Look, there's Thomas who wanted to pull a train, but forgot about the coaches. Silly Thomas! Imagine rushing off without the coaches. <laughs>